Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today um, we're going to talk about a new testing methodology or test that I'm going to be using in reviewing upcoming locomotives and establishing leaderboards and also another thing that you'll be able to do with this. So what I'm going to be doing is I pick this up here and what it is is it's a portable decibel meter. So it basically uh, judges the loudness of the sound. So in order to be consistent, how I'll do that is um, using my inner loop here, placing on the edge of the table, which is roughly about a foot from the locomotive. Uh, I'm going to measure how loud it actually is. So we're going to go ahead and power up the locomotive here. So the two volumes that I'm going to be looking for is idle volume and then also horn or whistle volume, which generally will be a little bit louder. The other thing that this is going to let me do is to, instead of uh, speed matching locomotives, I'm going to be able to volume match locomotives. This is really handy where you may have a consist of two or three locomotives or you may want to establish a, a volume for your whole fleet of locomotives that generally all of them... Uh, are going to be around because you can't really you can try to do it literally by ear but it's not exact with this way it actually allows you to have a little more precision so i'm going to go ahead and fire it up here and there's many types of meters like this on the market this is super cheap and then there's also a max setting on here which I will use so I'm gonna set the max function and then I'm gonna let it idle and then I'm gonna do a horn blast and see where we're at now I have this is a um, roundhouse um, approximation of a Norfolk Southern a6 a44 6m it really all it is is it's kind of a uh, more like a fantasy engine but it has Tsunami 2 in it, and it also has a small sugar cube speaker in it. So this, by means, is a, a modified engine. So we're going to see what it's... And I don't have it pumped up all the way on the volume, but this is just more or less a test to show you how this works. So we're going to hit the max button here. All right, so we'll mute it there. But um, you can basically see that it was hanging around the upper 60s at idle, and then our max here was actually 79.9. So if I was to set up another locomotive here, I could set my kind of my idle volume around the exact same, and then I could tune down that whistle or that horn until I get to around 80 decibels. Now with decibels, what you want to keep in mind um, is that as you go up, it increases exponentially. So, uh, for instance, the difference between 70 to 80 decibels is not the same as 80 to 90. Um, actually, the further you go up, um, the more exponentially louder each decibel becomes. So, you know, the difference between like 100 and 102 is going to be a lot different than, you know, from going to 80 to 82 here. So that's basically how it's going to work, and um, in order to keep things fair, um, as we test new locomotives for manufacturers, I will indicate whether you know the model is factory or not. And also, uh, the other thing to keep in mind with that is that I'm only going to count the volume as, um, as loud as it can get without distorting. So if a model out of the box is really, really loud, but it's also very staticky, I'm not going to count that. I'm going to tune back that volume until it's its max volume at a setting in which it's not distorted uh, because there's really no good in something being loud if it's all crackly and staticky. So that's how I'll do that evaluation. And we're going to stick with this same, you know, using the inner track and being right in the center of the locomotive. That way it's on camera 
and we're following a consistent process for each locomotive. So we'll have both an idle setting and then also a whistle setting or a horn setting. So that's how that's going to work. Um, and like I said, the other thing too is you can use this to essentially volume match your engines. And uh, the one that I got here, it's called an SPL 1000 from Skosh. Got this off of Amazon for like $11. Um, I mean, there's a lot of other ones out there um, that kind of do similar things, but this is something easy that we'll be able to do on the channel um, just to compare the volumes because I think a lot of times when I'm look, taking a look at a locomotive brand new out of the box, I'll say, wow, that's really loud or it isn't that loud, but you really can't get a sense through the camera um, on how loud it is or it isn't. And, uh, you know, just turning up your TV volume or your phone volume, it doesn't really convey that over the camera. So this is a nice numerical value that we can place on that moving forward. So that's about it for this one. Um, there'll be some things I have coming up here shortly, but just kind of in between projects right now.